Hi, and here we are again for more lovely maths. And you probably were sent here from the video just before. Now these are just questions, so it's going to be nice, short and quick. Okay, so this time we're going to be finding the slope or gradient, these words are interchangeable, and the y-intercept that we met last time from an equation. Very simple, idiot-proof method. You follow this, you cannot fail to get them right. You rearrange the equation into y equals mx plus b form. Then you just compare the y equal mx plus b to the equation and you can see what the m and the b values are straight away. Remember that m represents the slope of the gradient as we call it and b is the y-intercept where the line if we plot it cuts the y-axis. Here's a quick example. Let's see how we do it. Well it says compare to y equals mx plus b so if I look carefully, the m value is always next to the x. What is the m value? Well, here we go. It's a fraction, and it's quite simply minus 3 sevenths. What's the b value, the y-intercept? Well, that's the bit that stands alone. Here it is, plus 4, so it's 4. In fact, the coordinates are 0, 4, of where it cuts the y-axis. My goodness, could it be any simpler? It is so easy. Yeah, it's very, very exciting. But it can't be that easy, can it? Well, let's try and wish for some more examples and see what happens. Yes, two more examples. The power of wishing. Now, these equations are just a little bit more tricky, but for you lot, should be super easy. We need to make it so that the equation is 1y equals mx plus b, or mx plus c if you're non-American. So here the problem is we have a 2. So what we do is we take the equation, and to get rid of this 2, we have to divide everything by 2. Okay, so this now just becomes y, this becomes 2x, and this can stay as a beautiful fraction. Remember, fractions are your friends. Now if I compare this to y equals mx plus b, what do you think the m number is? Stop the video and decide now. Okay, let's see if you were right. The m value is 2 and the b value is minus 3 over 2. Did you get that right? Now, there is also a third example, which is a little bit more complicated, but I think you should have a go first. So stop the video and have a go at the question. Okay, Jade, are they uh, stopping the video? No, he's not. Okay, who else? That one? Okay, he's not doing it? Oh dear, it's always the boys. Let's see, though, if you got this right. First of all, I'm going to remove the 3x from the left-hand side. How? By subtracting 3x from both sides. I now need to eliminate the negative 4. How do we do that? Well, we divide every term by negative 4. Let's see what happens. This needs a little bit of a tidy up. What's left here? Y. What's left here is just 3 quarters of x. This one plus minus becomes a minus. 12 divided by 4, nice and neat. Remember, we're comparing it to y equals mx plus b. So, m, quite simply, always stands in front of the x as the coefficient is the proper term, and it's 3 quarters. The b value is the value standing around, and here it's minus 3. Again, this would be the coordinates 0, minus 3. Now I think you have enough information to tackle any of the questions. Of course, these equations could be a little bit more difficult that you have to rearrange, but I'm sure you're smart enough to do it. So stop the video again, copy down the notes, and then move on to the assignment. And I'll see you next time for some more algebra videos. Bye for now.